Okay, before we start with today's project, how about a little joke? How many Germans does it take to change a light bulb? One. We are a very efficient people and we have no time for humor. All right, that being said, on with today's project. What we have here is a nano, an OLED screen, and a little amplified electric microphone. So what are we going to do with all this, you ask? We are going to make an Arduino-based spectrum analyzer. Very cool. Very easy. I've seen a few of these done on YouTube. I checked them out, and they are all using this FIX underscore FFT fixed fast Fourier transform library. Makes it really simple. All right, let's check out and go over the hardware here really quick. So we got the Nano. From the Nano, we have 5 volt and ground going up to the bus. Then we have 5 volt and ground from the OLED going to the bus. 5 volt and ground from the microphone going to the bus. Now the microphone output, which is an analog output, feeds back into a zero. And of course for the OLED, SDA comes over to A4 and SCL goes over to A5 and man, that is it. There ain't nothing else to it. Now, before we go check out the code, take a look at this little microphone unit. This is a, this is pretty nice. Do you want to focus today? Really? Come on, focus. There you go. So this is the adjustable gain microphone. And you can see it's got a little adjustment pot there and a nice little amplifier and uh, like I said this is from Lady Ada in New York City although I'm sure you could find one from our friends in China and speaking of our friends in China I got a double thumbs up announcement Banggood has decided to sponsor me by sending me stuff to play with. So I'm very excited about this. My first shipment of stuff to play with was shipped out today. And today is the 27th of April. So we'll see how long it takes to get here. I'm expecting four weeks. All right, on to the code. All righty, let's look at the code for the Arduino Spectrum Analyzer. Now the black magic, which we'll get to in a bit, I've copied from a sketch by CBM80 Amiga on YouTube. And the Fix FFT library is available here on GitHub. So first of all, we need to include the Fix FFT library. The SPI library, which you can probably admit if you're running low on um, memory. The I squared C library, which you cannot omit because we need it for the OLED. The Adafruit graphics library we need because we're drawing things on the screen and the OLED driver. Then we need to define this OLED reset for because the library uses it. We're not using it. Then we're going to declare an instance of the Adafruit SSD 1306 called lowercase display with that OLED reset value. Or you could just put four in there and be happy with it. We're going to declare a couple of data arrays for the FFT and a couple of variables for drawing the graphics and some counters that we will use to count. Now in the setup we have serial begin at 9600, you know, because we always use our serial comms to debug. Then we're going to start the display SSD 1306 switch APVCC. I don't know what the hell that means, but it's there anyway. And for my particular display, we need that hex address OX3C because the Adafruit library looks forward to OX3D. A little display setup. And we're going to set our analog voltage reference to default so it uses the 5 volt reference. So now we're going to come down here and we're going to set our minimum and maximum values for the analog 
to digital converter. And then we're going to take 128 samples from A0 and write them to VAL. And then we're going to start populating this array data with VAL divided by 4 minus 128 to knock our frequencies out of there. And then IM will be equal to 0. Then we're just going to capture the minimum and maximum values. We can use them. I didn't use them here. And then here is the fix FFT, which is performed on data and IM with these other two arguments. If you want to know more about them, check out the FFT.CPP. Next, we're going to clear the display again. And then we're going to do this black magic. This is the part I got from CBM80 Amiga. Integer dat equals square root data i times data i plus imi times imi. And that supposedly filters out the low noise and the hum. And then we're going to draw our lines for each frequency. We're breaking it out, as you see here, into 64 separate frequencies. And it will draw a line for each one based on the value of the y limit minus your data. Then we're going to put the cursor at the top, print the title, and show what we got. All right. Are you guys ready to see it in action? Power it up here. And there you go. You can see that there. It says Spectrum Analyzer. And you can see there's just a little bit of noise there from me talking and whatnot. How about we bring in some YouTube approved copyright free music? How about that? An Arduino Spectrum Analyzer. It's even picking up my voice. Hello. Yep. Picks up my voice. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can win that power supply. And feel free to comment. That's it. Go on.